All right, I'm going to do a simple quick cure on some king salmon eggs I caught from this morning. Okay, nice couple big skeins. We're going to be doing a Nate's Baits cure. Okay. And if you can see the color, it is real red. And a little secret extra I add into it, firepower pot skis. Sorry if it looks funny, I'm kind of doing this upside down. But, there you go. So I'm going to open this guy up here. Take out each sack of eggs. I just lay them on the paper towel. Nothing fancy. I take out some of the water moisture. Just kind of threw that away. Okay, so you want to get that excess blood out. So I always just cut a little piece in the vein line there. So when I run my knife blade up, you can use whatever people use spoons, but my scissors here work just fine the tip of the blade. See that blood slowly moving up? Absorbs into the tip. Wanna get as much of that out as you can. Be afraid to push a little firm, not too hard. Just wanna push firm enough that you can get a lot of the blood out. It's okay if there's a little bit left in there. It's not gonna hurt your eggs. Believe me, I was catching plenty of fish today on the exact same cure I am going to show you. Cut off that piece of skin. it over check the other side beautiful this side here straighten them out As you can see there's a nice big that I just cut the vein Try to get what you can. Alright. Let's flip it over, check the other side. Great. Now what I like to do, and some people might not, I like to butterfly my eggs. So I just take a pair of scissors and cut right down the middle. I do this for reasons of preference. You can do it either way, I'm sure it works just fine. But this is my new cure that I like to use. I've used Potsky's Borax of Fire, but for some reason today and yesterday when I was out king fishing, this cure seemed to work better than my others. Maybe I was just doing something wrong. I don't know. But I figured out this one. So I'm sticking with it. So again, just going to butterfly your fillets. Now you don't have to let these air dry or anything like that. You just want to Get them cut. Let's cut that off of there. It's pretty gross. I know that.
got some skin, but you don't need all that. Get back to butterflying these up. I'm carrying these up actually for coho fishing. Now, I'm all done with my king fishing. These will be my coho eggs. Okay, there you go. Nice butterfly skein of eggs. Okay. Nice little quick cure. It's going to block the top for any excess juice. Uh, some people would say to leave them out, but this works fine. Those are probably good. Uh, almost 10 millimeter egg, pretty big. Eight to 10 mil. All right, there comes the fun part. Got your trusty bag here. Okay. Now I actually, before we do this, I'm gonna actually cut these down into in half. I'm gonna go right down the middle. I'm gonna make four halves. gallon freezer Ziploc bag and we're gonna take our Nate's Bates Rogue Red Cure or excuse me Ruby Red Rogue Red is what I used to use for pot skis I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit in the bag okay and you want to go very sparingly on this you don't need a lot and then I'm gonna place inside down in the bag okay and I'm gonna place this one in this side and this stuff goes definitely a long way so and then we'll go ahead and sprinkle a little bit more on top let's get a little dusting in there you'd be surprised how a little bit goes a long way We'll take these, lay those ones on top of that. Okay, and a little bit more. Now what this is going to do, it is going to draw the moisture out of the eggs. If I can get the bag zipped up here for some reason, it's not wanting to zip up. There. I don't know why that was difficult, but for some reason it was. Alright. And you're just going to gently tumble them. And you're going to tumble them for about, I don't know, 30 seconds or so to really make sure that stuff gets to mix around. Be gentle. I need to squeeze them. Just gonna slowly roll those, all that coverage, and then about every 15 minutes I just come back and rotate them. It's gonna be pretty soon, it's about a half hour, it's gonna start pulling the juices out, probably quicker than that. And do this for, I don't know, a couple hours, so you really start to see that once the eggs will completely juice, then they will pull all that moisture out of the eggs. few hours the eggs should already start to absorb that juice that it's going to extract. Okay. And now that I got that mixed around, I'm going to take my Potsky's 100% pure krill. Oh. And I'm going to sprinkle some of that in there. 
Well, you don't have to add scents. You can use other things. But for some reason, like I said, and this is the exact same cure from last week with the eggs I got for today and yesterday's fishing. And it went phenomenal. So I'm going to stick to this cure. There we go. Okay. There you go. In about uh, 15 minutes, you really start seeing the moisture. See, it's already starting to juice out. Okay, it'll start doing that, and then it'll start absorbing that moisture back into the eggs, the juice. There you go. Leave them like that for about I don't know, overnight. Just keep tumbling them through in there, and then in the morning, I like to stick them out on a rack, dry them out for about an hour and a half, two hours, let them get a little sticky. And then I will place them into a mason jar. And they should be ready to fish within, I don't know, 12 hours or so. So by the morning, you can even just take these out and go fish with them. All right, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, go rip some lips.